Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Bounder BB Show. I got Jordan Klepper in my next segment. He's got his fingers on the pulse and he's going to be here. And you know he's with the Trevor, uh, Trevor Noor, The Daily Show. So you see him on TV. So get listen up. He's got some great information. Jordan, welcome to the Bounder BB Show for the first time. Thanks for having me. You are such a celebrity in your own right. You're a celebrity because you <laughs> hang out with Trevor Noah. You're a celebrity on your own. So they say you've got your finger on the pulse. How about that? I think, you know what? I listen to them. Uh, they know what they're talking about. I, or at least they being Trevor who sends me out into the world as like, go talk to the world no matter what happens. Even if there's an insurrection at the Capitol, we want you there. And so I listen to Trevor because he's a nice guy and also because it's hard to find work during the pandemic. <laughs> I like that. Honesty, it, it works all the to- time. Jordan, first of all, tell me how is it being uh, on one of the top shows in the nation and having that ability to be seen and to move your career forward? Well, I, you know, it was uh, the, the break of my life to get a chance to work on The Daily Show, a show that I, I loved since I was uh, younger, watched it in college, and where I got a lot of my news and information from. And so to get a chance to be on an institution like that is really, uh, it's really a blessing. And, and I, I love the chance to be able to comment on what's happening right now and today. And as Trevor took over that show, like he's such a collaborative uh, leader of that show, and um, and I and to be able to kind of not only work with some of the best people in town on on the current events of the day, but also to head out into the field and kind of mold those stories, find the humor, talk to people to see what's going on, get to travel around the country following campaigns. Like I really love it. If the world's going to talk about what's happening in politics, I'd like to be right up front uh, and finding some comedy in it. Okay, I got to ask you, were you in, you know, media in college or what led you to the path? If you could give me a synopsis of that. You know what? I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I was a math major uh, who discovered that he liked doing improv comedy. And when you start doing improv comedy, you find yourself going to Chicago and then eventually to New York, where you're doing live shows, creating something out of nothing. You're writing on TV, you're acting on TV, and you're trying to get that next big break. And it takes a decade or two for it to happen. And eventually, The Daily Show comes around looking for somebody to uh, fill the spot of John Oliver. And that role is a very unique role. You have to be somebody who likes politics, who's quick on their feet. And when you go out into the field, somebody who can make things up on the spot, which for an improviser, that was sort of my MO. And so my big break kind of came after I've been in New York for over a decade. uh, and, And boom, I got a chance to be there. So... I'm mostly a comedian and improviser at heart, somebody who loved politics, but it's not until you get into The Daily Show where you're sort of baptized into this new political satire world. I bet you were a fun child to raise. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think so. At least I tell my parents that. I, I, I wonder if they would see it the same way. I hope so. Yeah, they're probably not labeling it fun, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> tell me about Into, into the uh, Megaverse. What, is, what are we going to see there? What are we going to experience? Well, so for the last year, I've been following the, the Trump campaigns, going to rallies, interviewing people on boats and being there on January 6th, interviewing people as they rushed up and uh, entered into the Capitol. And so it's been a wild, hectic year. And this is a chance to kind of look back on some of those moments of the year. Also a chance to see behind the scenes what it's like to make television at an insurrection what it's like to interview people in the middle of a parking lot in Pennsylvania who don't want to talk to you and let you know it uh, with as much profanity as they can spew in 10 seconds. It was also a chance for us to go back and talk to some of the people that I talked to four months ago to see if anything had changed since January 6th, since the election. And so it's it's really a chance for us to reflect, check back in, and kind of have some fun about uh, this wild year we all lived through. 
Are we going to have fun? Because some of it was excruciating, Jordan. I'm going to tell you, it's a little bit of both. You, you know, we what we show is some footage of what it was like to be there on January 6th. And I'll admit, it's harrowing. There's not a lot of comedy there. Uh, I often talk about being there as there's there's a real dichotomy. It was an incredibly heartbreaking and sad day to watch, but it was also absurd at the same time. I'm interviewing a person on a segue trying to overthrow the greatest democracy on earth. And it's, it's this <laughs> weird mix where you're like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd be laughing if I wasn't crying right now. So we, we also try to find some levity too, where like, I think humor is a great equalizer and it can kind of knock down some of those things in power and also uh, give us a, a, a level playing field. So this, this special tries to give you a little bit of both, a peek behind the curtain of what it's like to be at, 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 at a moment in history from a comedic perspective and also some of the fun that we had in the past year. I can't wait to see it. And hopefully you have some footage of the shaman out there because he was he was a show all by himself. So he we're going to tune in to see if we get a little peek of him. You know what? The shaman, I got to tell you, he's, he shows up at every kind of shot. That guy, when you wear horns, it's hard to escape a camera. All right, then. Well, this is going to be fun. And that's what I love. I love some fun. When do you want us to watch and where do you want us to watch? I want you to watch it wherever you can. On, on Monday night. It's on Comedy Central. Eastern wise, that's 11 o'clock. Or if you've got Paramount Plus, you can watch it whenever. So check it out on Paramount Plus or Comedy Central. Jordan Kepler, you are as cute and as funny as they said you were to get you on my show. I really appreciate you being here. I'll take it. I'm going to have you write that down and I'll send it to my parents. <laughs> and tell your parents they did a good job. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.